Hello, this is uh, Pastor Jonathan, and you've reached the Bivocational Channel. Hello, I'm Pastor Jonathan, and I'm out here in God's creation, out here in uh, what I would consider my sanctuary, where I worship God, and... and uh, this is a property that my parents own, and it joins up with hundreds of other acres of this. Like he said, I'm surrounded by, by all of this. And uh, I love it out here. I've been out here so many times. The Lord has spoke to me um, from out in these woods. I've went out and I've prayed, and I've sought the Lord on many occasions with this. And, I, and I've seen this tree. I, I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. And I've seen this tree for a number of years when walking through these woods. And this tree um, has been here for some time. I've, don't know exactly the time, but it's been, I, I've seen it for a number of years. I've been coming out here and praying and seeking the Lord and uh, taking little sabbaticals from, from uh, pastoring and from life just to kind of single out my heart towards God. And uh, I was looking at it and every year it, it does the exact same thing, which is nothing. It stands here and it, in the springtime and all the green comes out, you can see right now it's snowed. Um, we are in the beginning of January, 2018. And uh, I just, uh, um, and, 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 but every spring, as you know, the grass perks up, the flowers start to bloom, looks pretty bare. I don't know if you can see it out here, looks pretty bare out here. Like I said, no leaves except for the evergreens, things like that. But all in all, there's not really a whole lot going on, but in the spring, things start blossoming, uh, leaves start coming, uh, through the, the, the woods, which is where I'm at, uh, becomes very green. Uh, you hear birds singing. You might hear a couple right now, but not a whole lot. Um, and uh, But in the spring, this tree never, at least since I've seen it, has ever produced a leaf. Nor has it produced any fruit, nor has it uh, uh, looked like it's grown or changed much at all. And I'll go ahead and put it behind me here. I don't know if you see it. It's a little tall one right in the center. See, it goes all the way up there. No branches, mainly, and just a trunk that goes all the way down to the ground there. And I see it all the time. And I remember last year I saw it. And a couple, looks like a couple small branches that are still hanging on. And I took a picture of it a couple years ago because I wondered if it was a picture of the state of many of our churches. Um, the tree's still standing. It's there. It exists. Uh, it even might, I mean, it's probably around 35, 40 feet tall. It's got some height to it, but it's dead. It is not producing any fruit. It is not growing. The root system is dead. Um, but the tree's still standing. And I just wonder how many of our churches are in that same scenario. They're still standing. They still exist. They're there. But they're not producing any fruit. They're not producing any fruit. You see the tree right there? They're not producing any fruit. They're not growing. Their, their root system is not developing. It's not. They're not getting more mature. They're not growing in their faith. They're not... Uh, they're not really doing much of anything. They're just simply existing. And uh, the question I have for this is that I wonder, like Jesus said in Revelation to one of the churches, he goes, you think you're alive, but you're dead. And so the question uh, that, I, that I ask myself in regards to my church and other churches, and think about this with your, with your church, is do you have a live, a, a living church, a church that's Producing fruit connected to the vine, growing, uh, vibrant, may not be growing fast, may not be growing numerically necessarily, but it's growing. It's spiritually growing. You see signs of life, or is it dead? Is it dead? And the only reason it's still there is because it technically hasn't decayed yet. Think about that for a minute. If, is your church alive and growing and doing what it needs to do and producing fruit and fulfilling the work of a church? Or is it dead and it's just kind of there existing? And it's slowly over time decaying as the church dies. It has no purpose. It has no vision. It's not going anywhere. It's stagnated. And, it's not and, it's, and, it's, and it will eventually decay and collapse. Now you can prevent this from happening. I still believe, God's in the, I still believe God can resurrect dead churches. And, uh, but it takes a lot. It, take, it takes a lot from the church to commit themselves to Christ and his purpose. 
to move themselves out of dead religion. I'm just going to say it, dead religion. And moving beyond that to life-giving uh, ministry that's defined by the Scriptures, that's filled with the Holy Spirit, that's anointed by God, and that's defined by truth. So think about that. Look at your church. Look at it. If someone was looking at it from the outside, if God was looking down at it, what would he see? Would he see a growing church? Maybe not always numerically, but spiritually. Or does he see a dead church? Pray about that. Think about that.